2014 comedy film that I just got back from a screening for. This was directed by Ben Falcone, and it was produced, co-written, and starring his wife in real life, Melissa McCarthy. Now, Tammy, what's this movie about? Honestly, when I saw the trailer for this movie, I couldn't tell you. Because all I saw in the trailer was Melissa McCarthy acting like an idiot. And she's attempting to rob this burger place, and she's kind of just being goofy, trying to jump over the counter. Why would she do that at her size? And she's being overly goofy, and you're just kind of like, okay, at least I'm thinking, watching that trailer, this is just going to be another Melissa McCarthy movie where she's over the top, she's annoying, she's unlikable, and I'm just not going to give a fuck. However... I'm not going to say that there wasn't those moments where I kind of rolled my eyes and said, all right, this is kind of in that same territory. There is a lot more to the story than I ever would have given credit for. Melissa McCarthy plays Tammy, who is, you see her, she's, she kind of has a fucked up life. You know, not only does she get fired from her job, but she comes home to find out that her husband is cheating on her with the neighbor. So she's like, fuck. So she goes home to her mother, who lives like literally two houses down, and she just wants to leave town and say, look, I'm done with this place. I need to get out of here. So her grandmother, played by Susan Sarandon, says, you know what? I want to leave too. I want to have some fun. So the two of them pretty much take a road trip. Now what I thought of Tammy was... I'm not going to say I love this movie or anything. I'm not even going to say it was like awesome. I'm just going to say... It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Melissa McCarthy, like I said, she's hit and miss for me. And she's, she, she misses a lot more for me than she hits. I thought she was okay in Bridesmaids, but she plays such a small part in there that it's almost just like, okay, she did what she had to do. She was funny. Boom. Then she blew up. And you couldn't, I mean, she had like two comedies a year. And she kind of plays that same character, which she does here as well. She plays that sort of bitchy character that's just like, oh, my life is shit, so that's why I'm mad at the world, and that's why I act the way I do. So yeah, there's nothing new here, and I'm sure the fact that she helped write this and that her husband directed it. You have a lot of scenes where you're kind of just like, all right, this is going on a little too long, or we could cut right now. But there was a lot to the story, or a lot more heart to the story than I thought. I know, I just said that. But when you see the relationship she has with her grandmother, who, first of all, Susan Sarandon playing Melissa McCarthy's grandmother, when did Susan Sarandon get that old? I mean, I know she's an older woman, but her grandmother? Like, they dress her up and make her look older than she is, I, I'm assuming, because she has gray hair and whatnot, but I'm like, wait, the last time I saw Susan Sarandon was That's My Boy, and she looked smoking hot in that movie. The two of them had good chemistry, they were funny together, Susan Sarandon being sort of the over-the-top grandmother who just wanted to have her one last fun trip. She even hooks up with this guy and then that leaves Melissa McCarthy with Mark Duplass and they're trying to get something started there. And this is why I don't hate Melissa McCarthy. This is this is the moments where I'm like, okay, this is when she's funny the most. When she's not so over the top, when she's not so like physical comedy that she's known for. I like when she's sort of just being herself and being quirky and just sort of being goofy. That's what makes her likable. And also having a woman that looks like her as the lead in a movie like this, this is why I do want to appreciate her more as an actress because there are too many of these movies where the woman that would be in her situation or the character would look like a hot chick and you're like, oh really? Like your life is so bad or you can't get a guy? Well, Melissa McCarthy, you buy her in this situation more and it's refreshing to see 
somebody that looks more like a regular person. So look, am I going to say that this movie was great? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that I ended up liking the movie a lot more than I thought. This is probably one of the first Melissa McCarthy movies that I didn't rant on and I didn't hate. And I appreciated the cameos of Dan Aykroyd and Kathy Bates being in there. My rating for Tammy... Wow, I guess I'm going to give it a matinee. Mostly a matinee because I went into this expecting to rant, expecting to hate it, expecting to say just another bullshit movie. Sure, I would like Melissa McCarthy to sort of stop typecasting herself. I mean, if she's going to write and produce her movies now, then like let's step out of this box. Let's show what you can do in other type of roles. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below if you have any interest in seeing Tammy. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Later!